Yes, ma'am. Oh. How are you doing? Can you, can you hear me all right, Andy? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I like I like uh, called Mel. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's funny. He's, it's, uh, it's just I have a little different way of looking at it. Everybody when, likes Carl Miller. Everybody loves mm -hmm. Constitution Man. The only thing funny is there's, there's two sides of the court running here, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Miller keeps saying something about bonds, right? Right. Okay. Because every one of these people have to have a bond to function. Okay. Well, what happened when you're an administrative what, what, what happened when you're an administrative officer and you're an employee of the court? Then what? You still have to have a bond. No, I just have to be insured. Well, see, so your indemnification, okay, I'll, I'll say it differently. You have to have indemnification. Well, and then being insured by even a... If it, even if the indemnification is called theft, employee mm -hmm. theft. Sir, yeah. sir, when I sit as a hearing officer, I'm insured, I'm not bonded. Well, okay. you're supposed to be bonded according to Article 6, Paragraph 3 of the not Constitution of these United States. In my not state, it says very something. clearly that... Uh, in, in one in fifteen point one five one it says every person has a condition of employment with the state, no matter what capacity, is required to be bonded as a condition of their employment. So that bond is what they call a specific okay. performance bond. It's okay. well, well. to make sure they do their job. Mm hmm if they're not going to do their job, then we need to talk to them about that. Okay, Carl, your turn. Okay. Are you going to are you going to leave me unmuted for that second, Angela? Yeah, but you keep you know the man's trying to finish a sentence, and you're but yeah, 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 you know be nice and kind and let him talk, and then you can have a turn, and everybody will be able to hear what's being said. Okay. Right? Well, okay. These people say all the time that there is no more states, there is no more United States, that everything is a private organization, right? The United States is a person now, it's a business, right? It's a private corporation. Well, if they believe that, they're in error. Okay, that's nice that you believe that they're in error, but they're operating under a private contract, right? They're operating under a lot of things. Some of it's absolute criminal elements. So under 1871, you know, what you folks always say when the United States became a private corporation. Does a private corporation like Coca-Cola president need to be bonded or does he need to be insured when he commerces with the public? Well, it's whatever was set up to form his charter, okay? And That's if his right. Charter, if his charter requires that he be bonded, then he should be bonded. If it requires that he be indemnified and insured, then he should be, if for nothing else, error and emission insurance. I don't know any CEO corporate officer who doesn't have error or emission insurance to cover any error he makes as a CEO. There you go. That one is common business sense. It's the same as a bond. But we can argue the actual ramifications and definitions of each. I'm just saying that he's liable for his duties and that he is he can be charged with not honoring his duties and that bond or indemnification can be forfeited. The judge? The judge, the prosecutor, the governor? All no, of sir. Them. No, sir. Uh -huh. no, um, Angela, don't mute me, okay? No, the judge. How long have you been doing this? How long? I've been doing this 48 years this month. The judge? The prosecutor? Yeah. And you the can the judge. I've done it. Sir, <laughs> the judge, the prosecutor, yeah. the governor are perfect persons. It's the man who's clothed, who's operating under color of law, that can be sued, not the office in which he holds. You know, a lot of times you don't even have to sue him. You just have to threaten to sue him. Okay, sir. I didn't say anything about threats, because threats is called extortion. No, I just told the judge if he violated my constitutional rights, I was going to seize all his property. And I meant I was deadly serious. He called me in his chambers. He says, I understand you've been over to the records and deeds office today looking up all my property. I says, that's a fact, sir. I also Wait. got copies I also got copies of the lien and bond rules and regulations to include a copy of the actual filing. 
When you are you planning to seize my property? I says, if you plan to violate my constitutional rights, I plan to seize your property, sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly what's going to happen. Where do, you, where do you believe that your rights uh, form from the Constitution? Where do you believe that they're derived? Because, because I believe it. Okay. I'm trying to jump in there. They're Charles Spears. Oh, go right ahead. Sorry, Charles. Okay. Uh, uh, Carl Lentz, uh, I love you like a brother. We've got a lot in common, but I, I'm making some new acquaintances here with uh, a Constitution Man and uh, trying to broaden out with a number of others. And um, uh, Carl Lentz, uh, to my mind, you've you've definitely got a seat at the round table. Uh, your 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 scholarship is is quite advanced, but um, um, uh, Angela's only got so much time on her conference here, and I. I'd like to get to know uh, Constitution Man Carl a little bit better here, and um, uh, some of the others that that have their hands up or are already um, part of uh, the unmuted body here. Um, so if if we could save the drilling of Constitution Man for perhaps another time, uh, Carl Lentz, um, uh, to my mind, that would be a more optimal use of this limited time we've got in Angela's conference here this evening. You know what else? Carl, Carl has, Carl has uh, volunteered to open up another talk show afterwards if y'all want to continue. Mm. What's uh, Angela, the number, Carl? Just a second. Carl, what's your call in number? Your talk uh, number? It's going to be 127 469. One two seven four six nine. Okay, thank you. All right, Carl. Uh, let's.